Okay, this is Mr. Color, and this is going to be the construction on copying a triangle. Uh, two things you're going to need to do this construction is you're going to need a triangle to start with, and then you're going to need a point that is not on the triangle, which I've called D. So we have triangle ABC, and we're going to copy this to a new location. And so make sure that you've done that. If you need to pause, go ahead and do that, I'll give you, and then you can restart when you're ready. Okay, the first thing you need to do is pick any one of your three sides. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to start with side AC. And you want to stretch your compass to measure the length of that side. So I've found the, the, the length of AC. So now you go over to point D and you make an arc. Okay, the point that I'm going to use can be anywhere along this arc. It doesn't matter. You can put the point as long as it's on that arc. You're going to grab your straight edge and you're going to connect those two points. And so there's one side. That is now side AC is now the same length. And I can take a ruler and measure it. And if you wanted to see, it's a little bit more than three inches. I go over the other one, just a little bit more than three inches. And next, then, I want to measure my other two sides. So I will measure BC. Okay, BC. I'm going to take that from one of my two endpoints. It doesn't really even matter which one. And I'm going to go to the endpoint, and I am going to make an arc. Okay, so again, I measured BC. And then I went to that point and I made an arc. Then I have one side left that I haven't used, side AB. I'm going to stretch the compass to measure that. This time I'm going to go to my other end point. So I'm going to go over here to this point. And again, I'm going to make an arc. Now one thing that's going to happen here is my arc's too big. They don't cross. Okay, so I'm going to go back to BC and go back to what I did the first time. Go back over to here and make the arc just a little bit bigger so that they cross. Okay, and doing that... I have a point where they cross. Connect the endpoints with your ruler. And I'm also going to name this. I'm going to call this, let's see, so I have D here. I'm going to call D E F. And these two triangles will be the same exact size. It doesn't matter where they locate, it doesn't even matter if they look exactly the same. It's been turned a little bit, that's okay. But that's how you go about copying a triangle.